Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode of FTL, and this one's going to be very special, uh, because today, uh, well, at least, uh, the FTL Advanced Edition came out, it's a free expansion pack, all you have to do is, uh, well, if you have, like, the, one of the versions, like, GOG version, you just re-download it, install it, and you got, like, a free expansion, uh, kind of like, I guess, whatever you want to call it, DLC, I don't, I don't like using that word, though. It implies it's something I had to pay for and it wasn't a lot of good value. No, this is a uh, advanced edition content Which is what they've added to the game Now, uh, I'm gonna just spend a couple minutes uh, just showing you some of the stuff that they've added uh, And I guess my opinion on some of the ships. So they've done a lot of UI changes here uh, So if you remember the default game, they've also added a new ship type the Lantis cruiser uh, So you got the Lantis cruiser type a here uh, which is the new race, which is, uh, they, in the room that they occupy, uh, they drain the oxygen from rooms, uh, and, uh, there's no damage from lack of oxygen, but they move slower and stuff like that. So, they make actually, they're, they're kind of interesting, so they're, I guess they're very antisocial, uh, in terms of the race that they're in. Because, <laughs> it's like, you can't, you can't have them occupying the same room as, as regular people, so, it's, it's kind of funny. Um... And so this ship in particular has a uh, crew takes half the damage from oxygen and there's, there's some new weapons too like uh, a dual shot laser uh, that decreases in cooldown the more it fires and so it becomes better as you have a longer fight kind of a thing or the ion stunner which is uh, only takes like two more seconds of charge time but uh, if you hit a room without a shield uh, it'll stun everybody in the room which is kind of cool. Uh, there's also a uh, clone bay, which is uh, instead of uh, it replaces the med bay, so instead of uh, healing, you just uh, you just make a clone of them. So you know that's kind of interesting. Or a hacking system where you can hack. It's a new mechanic. You can you can hack different rooms for different effects, which is which is kind of cool. So there's that. There's also uh, they've added uh, Type C ships uh, all over the uh, all over the game. Uh, so I'll show you what these are. Like there's a Kestrel Type C, which is uh, not really anything notable, to be honest. Uh, like this one, like, just like all the other Kestrels, which I never touched because they were kind of boring. Uh, I didn't touch that. So the NGE Type uh, C, which they were quick to adapt to the sudden surge of hacking technology. So they got a hacking module, they also have a drone. And I guess the idea with this is you lower the shields with dual lasers and then use the beam drone to basically, uh, uh finish them off kind of thing. They also have something called Defense Scrambler, prevents enemy drones from targeting anything. I would like to do this ship sometime. Maybe, maybe since I'm revisiting this game, I'll, I'll touch upon that. This one is really interesting. A flak artillery cannon with improved clone bay. Uh, you'll see what the flak cannon is, but this is apparently the most suicidal of infantry decides to fly on the ship. It's good that you have the clone bay. Um, this one's actually just, just funny. Uh, and it's just absolutely fucking ridiculous. Because you have, by the way, the Zoltans now have a stat. They explode on death. Which is something that they didn't do before. So they, when they die, they damage enemy crew. Which is just fucking ridiculous. So I guess they're pretty much the best thing to send in, I guess, now. Because, like, when they die, they fucking just damage the crew now. So they, you have a teleporter bay on the fucking Federation cruiser. Now, if you remember the Federation cruiser, it had a giant fuck you rail beam. Uh, railgun beam, kind of thing. Um, so this one has no weapons, so you have to... It's a boarding ship. But it's a boarding ship with an, a, a flak artillery cannon, which is basically the flak cannon, which is kind of like a, a giant shotgun. Which is just randomly targets the entire other ship, so this is going to be just fucking hilarious. This is why it's a suicidal ship, because you can't control when this thing fires or where it aims. And so when you're boarding the ship, it's just going to be raining hell upon the enemy ship. So that, that should be really funny. Um, the Zoltan Type C is a... Uh, I'll, let's just read the description here. Designer of the ship was not willing to spend the money for a decent reactor. It, it instead relies on the Zoltan crew and a backup battery. So you have four Zoltans. Uh, so I'm just guessing that there's a severe lack of power on the ship. And the backup battery is something that provides a 30 second boost to a reactor. Some more of the advanced content that they've added to this game. Uh, you'll, you're noticing that all this Type-C ships though have a, have a clone bay. And uh, that's just kind of what they have. I don't. I don't know. A lot of the, some of these are interesting. Some of these are not. Uh, so the clone bay. So they, yeah. So they have a backup battery. So I'm not sure how this works. I guess you just have absolutely no power at all. I, I don't know. I can't see the reactor. Actually, let's just let's just start with this guy just just to see what he has. So fucking. That's that's as much power as he has. Yeah. There you go. 
So you, I don't, I don't know what you have to do here. You gotta go like that, and then you use the power of this thing, and then all of a sudden now I can power oxygen and and all the, all the other stuff. It lasts for a while though, but that's that. This is pretty f fucking ridiculous, actually, to be honest, because it's just you have no power. It's the it's the ship without a reactor, basically. Um, the stealth ship Type C. Now the stealth ships are my favorite, uh, especially the Type B. You, you remember I did this one. This is the one with the giant fucky railgun, well, gl glade beam, whatever. But um, this one is, I I don't know, man. So apparently, so the description says the ship was a part of an NG experiment to provide a power efficient Zoltan shield, uh, but it required removal of a cloaking system. So it's a it's a stealth cruiser with no stealth. Don't know what they were thinking here. So there's no cloaking system. Uh, oh, but you, at least you have doors. No, just kidding. Um, I, I don't know. So it's got like the charge laser charger, which is uh, basically one of the other new laser mechanics is that uh, lasers can also now hold a charge, basically. So they can they can they can get two charges. Like if you have them on auto fire, they just fire when they're ready. But you can charge them twice, and then they'll fire both, kind of thing, which is kind of interesting. Um, and then obviously you know what the mini beam is. I'll hopefully hopefully do. And this one, the the big thing about this one is the shield overcharger. It creates a super shield bar uh, barrier periodically, and well, th this ship is special in the way that it requires one less power. Um, so it basically, what this does is it it creates a Zoltan shield, one bar of the Zoltan shield, but it doesn't do it very fast. Uh, so that's kind of why I'm, I'm, it's, I, I don't know, I think it's kind of shitty to be honest. I was hoping they would do something better with the stealth cruiser, but this is kind of poopy, so, you know, I'm not happy about that. They also have an anti-drone, combat drone now, which is, uh, it stuns drones attacking your ship, which is, uh, bad if you like to play a, a ship that depends upon drones, because then, uh, there's nothing you can really do. Besides, you can, you can, I guess you can hack their... Uh, their drone system They get rid of that, but if you're dependent upon drones and yeah, this is this one's good to fuck you But and it requires just one power. It's not uncommon um, At least this, this ship has long-range sensors, you know, you know, you can say that much All right uh, next one rock cruiser type C. I'm just showing these these all because they're interesting uh, This is uh, sorry. I should read the description uh, uh, Contact was made with a crystalline race and the cruiser was offered to the Federation as a part of a diplomatic discussions between a sister species uh, So you got one crystal guy and two rocks and Then you got the new swarm missile which uh, once again it, it will make multiple missiles uh, But you can fire them right away. It just that charges it up slowly They also have the heavy crystal which pierces one unit of shields uh, And this one's like that, this one's not really notable in any way. Um, I can't think of anything really interesting about this one. Um, then you have the Slug two, Cruiser Type-C. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, slugs are often skilled in the uh, arts of manipulation and, and misdirection. With the hacking and mind control systems, it capitalizes on this fact. So they got hacking, and they have uh, mind control. That's the main things about this ship. And then you have all slugs. Now, it's important to note that slugs are immune to the effects of mind control, as it says. This is one of the new things that they have. So mind control is a new uh, mechanic in this game. You can just take someone over on the enemy ship, and uh, and yeah, you don't have to you don't have to deal with it. But what's interesting is this ship in particular. I don't think it has cameras. Yeah, there's no cameras. So I think you can take them over just by sensing them. I'm guessing you can because it wouldn't make much sense for the ship to have a uh, whatever this is, so, uh, yeah, I guess we're good then. Um, so that one's more of like, uh, just, I, I don't know, I guess just using the new mechanics. And then the Mantis, uh, Cruiser Type-C, uh, which is, uh, once again, a good four, uh, bay teleporter. Uh, and it's got, pretty much that's it. It's got two of the new bomb types, though. Uh, Lock, Crystal Lockdown bomb which is uh a basically kind of like the you know the crystals kind of like effect of uh they explode and they lock the room down that's what that does uh and they also have a stunning bomb so you can you can you can stun everybody in the room now it's important to note actually one that i read the patch notes you now have no chance of dodging bombs when you hit yourself so if you remember one of the things i had to do was whenever i want to heal myself i had to 
be retarded and, and take the person off of uh, uh, the piloting because uh, then like heal bombs would miss my own ship. Now that's not the case. They'll they'll miss the other ship though, so it's kind of good to know. Um, they've they've rebalanced actually a lot of stuff now. Uh, I, I'm trying to think. Is there any more? So uh, this ship has emer uh, sorry the the Federation cruiser Type C has emergency respirators. So that's the that's the thing that half damage from oxygen once again. Um, I don't think the rest of these had anything interesting, like rock plating. You already knew what that was. Uh, slug repair gel, yeah, we already know. Um, I will say one of- they did buff the humans. Um, before the humans didn't do anything, I said they were fucking useless. Now their skills improve slightly faster. So that's kinda nice. But, we're not doing any of these ships today. Uh, I just wanted to show them- show them off. Uh, notice that these- the two special ships that require, like, a special unlock, like, the Mantis Cruiser you only get through unlocking all the ships. Like, these ones. All the way, all the way over. All these, uh, the, the base eight, and then you get the Mantis Cruiser. And then the Mantis Cruiser, yeah. It's just, I, I did on stream the, uh, unlocking the achievements for this stuff. Um, by the way, I'm using some other dude's profile for unlocking these ships, because I unlocked about half of them, and I'm like, fuck, I want to do a Let's Play. Oh, fuck, this is taking me ten minutes to explain this shit, but whatever. Deal with it, kids. Uh, <laughs> uh, so... This is the one we're going to be doing today. Obviously, if you read the video title, you'd know this. And um, I want to do... Honestly, I've already done the A, and the A isn't anything special. Uh, it's interesting. But, uh, like, you don't really get to use the Mantis things. Also, the achievement for... Uh, this is a really funny one. Get to Sector 8 without your ship's net oxygen levels exceeding 20%. Which is like... You just, like, open all the doors in the ship, and that's it. You're, you're good. But this one, this one's fun. Uh, so this one, uh, this is a boarding ship. Uh, it's got the weirdest combination of weapons. I don't think it's very good, but we're gonna do it anyways, cause fuck you. Um, and it's just got like, so it's got a teleporter bay, it's got a cloning, so you gotta clone, like if people die, they have to be cloned. By the way, uh, the way it works is, um, when you when you every time you jump, so when you jump to the next sector, or not not, not the next sector, but whenever you do an FDL jump, it does like a micro heal, so just a little bit of heal. So it says, it says right there like eight HP heal per jump. Um, so yeah, you you might you have mind control, and then you have uh, the teleporter, and you also have no camera, so you can't you have to actually see the person to mind control them. You can't just like fuck around and like you can't just do it when they're on the other ship. So. Uh, it's kind of, it's it's an interesting boarding ship, I'll say that much. Um, so you use Atlantis crew members to board, I'm guessing. Uh, I've, I've only played with this a little bit. And then you have, like, the cloning base, so let's let's go. So I'm gonna call this, uh, Ken wanted me to rename the ship after him, so I'm gonna do that. And I guess I will be one of the, these men. You can also, like, recolor them now, which is cool. Although they don't have any colors, the, uh, the Atlantis, really. Or no, no, it's not the Atlantis, but the, the NGs just look the same. Um, I don't know what to call this guy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. And I will call this guy... Schlong. Okay. So, uh... And, oh yes, and we also have, uh, the Advanced Flak Cannon. Which is, this is a really cool gun, actually. I like this one. Or... Do I like this one? Fires of blast. I thought it was, uh, it doesn't tell me how many... Shots per charge three, really? Oh yeah, this is uh, okay. So this is the first level one. That's right. There's a there's a level two flak, which is which is much better in my opinion. But so you do have a weapon. I don't know why you do. It's kind of fucking weird. Oh, cause yeah, if 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 you face like a, a I suppose a uh like a drone, then that's what that's for. So yeah, was, oh, they also added a hard difficulty. Uh, which is uh, low, low scrap rewards and harder enemies. Your score gets a uh, 50%. I've only put, they've all, there's only been normal up to now. So this is the standard rewards and enemies. I, I'm not playing on hard because I don't know this ship enough, so deal with it. Okay, so here we go, and we move these guys over here, and we can pow we can power everything on this ship, which is odd. By the way, we do not have to. Something I've learned is you do not have to power uh, the clone bay to get the effects. However. Uh, it's really fucking fuck, because uh, if you have the clone bay, 
um, and someone dies, and they bomb it or something while something's getting revived, that person is fucking dead, unless you have a certain, like, power up or attribute kind of thing. It's fucking... Like, it's, it's, it, RNGs can basically kill your entire boarding team. Uh, this guy wants drones for, uh, fuel. I can't give him anything. Oh, they also added pictures to this stuff. One of the, some of the other interesting things I'll show you in the UI. Uh, I'm gonna attack this, this automated drone. Oh, he's got a fucking, uh, He took over that guy. Okay, this, so there's nothing I can absolutely take over here. Actually, let's just... Let's just hit that. Yeah, whatever. So he he's mind controlled basically. This this drone is a mind control subsystem, and he's mind controlled my guy here. Uh, so it's it's honestly it's it's a waste of. There we go. So now he's not mind controlled anymore. But you know now I so I, like since I hit him. So he's basically like he's not mine anymore. But basically, I'm just gonna hit him with this because there's actually no point in me boarding him because I'm not gonna be able to finish him up. Like, that's what the flat can is for. And you can kind of see what it does. It's basically like very inaccurate. Uh, it kind of just does like this spread thing over time. So you can imagine how the Federation Type B will be. It'd be crazy. But it's a very RNG based. All right, and then I got some uh, scrap. You can, they also have these pictures now showing you, and they also gave me a shield overcharger. Fucking nice. So, this can be nice or bad, like it's just, I, I, I don't really like it, to be honest. It requires three power and, yeah, it's just, no, I, I don't, I, I don't really have a very deep appreciation for it. Um, and so what I'm gonna actually do with 35, um, I'm gonna actually upgrade the clone bay. Because, as I said, if it gets taken down, you lose the crew members. I also get more heal, which is good, but this means they won't die to one hit. And you have no idea how valuable I think that is. Uh, I really think it's valuable because it's really, really annoying to have to like lose your crew members like that. Um, by the way, when if someone gets cloned, they have to they lose some of their skills. So there's a disadvantage to cloning. Uh, I come upon a forward scout of the fleet. Oh no, they're gonna go into FTL. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna send it, them into the weapons bay. So here's what I can do. Since there's a guy in there, I'm gonna just send him to be mind controlled, and they're gonna, they, they they're really ret retarded. They're like, like they just kill each other. I don't know why. Um, okay, I'm just trying to hit that bay. I don't I don't know if they fit anything on my ship here. So they they they've hurt themselves basically. Like now they're just running away. Okay. Yeah, we're doing good so far. So I'm just taking out their weapons. And now let's go into that room. Oh god. Oh god, I fucking hit myself with my own flak. It's okay, because we have a uh, we have the ability to we, we don't have to care. Okay. Uh where's the last guy? Just fight me. One people. Now the thing is they drain the oxygen in the room and what they what the it's really odd because they um how, how shall I describe this to you? Uh, they will run away from rooms without oxygen, most of the AI, which is interesting. So, you know, this makes them actually pretty competent boarders. So the ship goes silent, and we're still one step ahead of the fleet and all that kind of crap. So we bring this guy back, and we wait for us to get a new... Oh, look, he's back to life and at full health. How, how, how quaint. And the ship is already at maximum, so we're, we're good. We didn't actually get, they've really nerfed boarding, by the way. Boarding was, you know, if you remember, it was really OP in the uh, last game, so. Man, it's 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 tough now. Your jump serves no purpose, but and it's just empty space, so. Oh, well, let's just go up here then. This is why I like the long range scanners, if you ever have them. Oh no, we will never draw fucking sur surrender to you guys. They're slavers. And now we go over here. Oh, and we can go just, as I said, it costs you nothing just to mind control somebody. Because it, it's like, that's one less person you're fighting. And then like, now I'm, now I'm attacking his weapons. So he's got, uh, he's got like a, one of those charge cannons, and I've taken it out. But I would have fired three times if he charged it all the way. And that Zoltan just wants to die. Oh, uh, nope, he changed his mind. This is why these are actually really good boarders, in my opinion. Uh, these two fellas. 
Um, what are we doing? Oh, let's take out this now. Oh, there we go. And we got Maxwell, the slave, and uh, he was in a hidden compartment coughing, and so he offered to join my crew. Ah, oh, there we go. We got a new person with us. To I don't know what he's gonna man, but whatever. So, um, Mr. Maxwell. Uh, okay, so I, I want to just explain a little new mechanic here. Um, so when you had like a lot of crew, at least like over four, you couldn't really put them on anything. Now doors and cameras can be manned, and I'll show you what that does. So you can see the little person there. Now I have level two doors. So all it does is it raises by one level, which is you know kind of kind of cool. Um, so I guess for this guy, I guess I'm gonna put him on engines. Uh, cause I don't really see a reason. Actually, no, maybe I should have him piloting because then I can take the NG off whenever I want to heal stuff. Like, he didn't really level up anything, so that, that works out here. Uh, okay, let's continue the next place. Now let's go aid Federation ship. I really should have just, like, leveled, uh, uh, my engines by one. Okay, there we go. And now we have we have three guys on our team technically here, which is interesting. And once again, it's like they're my guys are getting low on health, but and I, I go into the weapons room all the time because it's just like why not? And now they now they're just like whatever. They don't they don't want to attack me because I'm in a I'm in a place without oxygen, which is hilarious. Best boarding ship ever. And might as well just kill these guys. Is the, is the last guy gonna come over? Yeah, here he comes. Nope, let's go into the shield room. Then he'll come attack me. There we go. We salvage what we can, add a quest marker. So I can just do this and that will make him heal, come, come back to life even faster. I can't really do anything about like the fact that I have no health here. Like I just have to, There, there's a there's an new augment to basically heal yourself whenever, uh, uh, whenever you use a teleporter, which is kind of cool, but you know, as I said. Oh yeah, and also the weapons now decharge slowly, which is cool. If you saw the little white bar, that's was, that was kind of cool. Whatever. I'm easily impressed. Now, we're not going to get that quest, so fuck that noise. Uh, we'll go up and around. Now, I do heal, as you see, I can, I can heal a little bit whenever I uh, do a jump. I don't know if there's anything else I particularly need. Maybe I should get, like, doors to prevent them from... If they board my ship? Nah, fuck doors. Let's go to Nebula. Exploring the galaxy. Alright, prepare to fight. Oh god, there's a... Okay, so... The best thing, in my opinion, would be to go and board their ship to take out their weapons. Because, like, this has no oxygen, but these guys don't need oxygen. They don't give a fuck. And by doing this, I'm just basically gonna make this go so much faster. Oh shit, I shouldn't take fucking taken down the shields. Whatever. I'm retarded. Deal with it. I'm just gonna make this really easy for me to kill their ship. Alright, come back. Alright, go back onto invading stuff. Sorry, that was a retarded move on my part. I, I took him off just as his beam weapon fired. I, I just, I thought I had taken it all down or whatever. So I got some nice materials out of that, so. I guess we'll just go to here now. Uh, oh sure, let's go activate and see the, the storage cache. All right, so we need to put our shields up because unfortunately I kept it down in the meantime. All right, and let's go send in the crew to their weapon systems. Because I don't want his, his missiles to fire. And there's also like a nice, there's a nice door between these. I think this layout has been actually changed so I can just easily walk between these. Which is really cool. So, we're just gonna get that, hopefully in the meantime. These guys are getting good at fighting though. Okay, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I guess I got nothing else to do with this guy other than because I gotta wait for the teleporter to charge again. Thinking maybe I should get another point in that. Maybe. 
because they act then I can get uh, the thing is I don't really need to get them out of Jiffy because I'm just gonna clone a new version of them every time as as morbid as that sounds that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing I mean I can even leave them on the ship and not give a fuck like this is something I can do there we go it's done all right, we got some 18 scrap, and then we got, so the storage uh, site had some fuel, some missiles, and some more scrap. So I guess we'll get another point in this. We got, my control leveling that gives me more uh, health and damage on the person I, I give it I mind control, so you know, that's, that's kind of nice, but not necessary right now. Uh, I would like some more teleporters, though. So basically, I don't power the, the clone bay until somebody dies, and then when they die, it's kind of like powered immediately bring them back to life. Uh, okay, there's a... They're terraforming a planet and they need assistance. systems. Do have some time. Uh, they want to scan bef for life before terraforming with the sensors. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, I find a feedback si uh, signal in my sensors and I'm able to get through the atmosphere and com do a complete scan. So all I did was I scanned for survivors, but there's no life, so the uh, team is getting re ready to get to work and the station scientists uh, have a unique talent for life support units and offer to upgrade my my oxygen system. So that's it. I have a level two oxygen. Uh, this is something that they do. This is one of the new kind of rewards that they have. Um, this one in particular upgraded my oxygen, obviously. Uh, so you, they will either upgrade your oxygen or they will sometimes upgrade your reactor in certain cases like this. I don't know what the bad outcome there is. I don't know what the bad outcome is in a lot of situations, but uh, it's kind of interesting all the same because, yeah, as I said, the oxygen. Uh, now, I, like, I wouldn't level that on my own, so it's actually kind of a, I guess, a good reward, because now it won't die in one hit. You know, I'm not gonna power it all the way, but, you know, whatever. Small rebel ship nearby, and they've been refitted for transport rather than combat. They don't want to fight me. Well, fuck you. You're gonna fight anyways, and they want to escape. So, let's beam... Beam onto their weapons. Uh, where are they? They're, they're trying to get my O2, so let's just vent the atmosphere there. Ah, oh, I missed. Uh, you know, let's go, let's go to cockpit. Oh no, actually, that's not. Let's just kill their crew. Because they're not, they're not gonna steal. Oh, I can't teleport them back now. Oh, nobody's here. Uh, they're unfortunately now hitting me. Oh, I'm gonna try and get this as much as possible. Um, I'm surprised that they didn't just beam him back, though. Oh. He's back on the ship. Oh, and we got, we got a... Oh, we got Zoltan out of that, and ship refused to fight, but you still detect life uh, signatures. This is a prisoner, uh, and the single survivor join offers to join my crew. So now we gotta go bring these guys back. Go learn to combat. So I guess this guy can be at the person on engines then, because I don't really like having a Zoltan on the shields, because uh, that's that's a terrible idea. But we're actually we're actually getting pretty good here. Uh, we got like a. Uh, like a, we got a Zoltan and we got a, we get, we're getting a, quite a number of crew basically, you know. And good thing I have the two two bars in the oxygen here. Huh? It's just like you know, I get to fuck around and do whatever I want. All right, and so I guess this guy will now man the shields because I got nothing else for him to do. All right, uh, uh, go straight. This is not a very combat oriented team, so I'm thinking maybe I should put. Power, some power into doors. Oh, so I can buy fuel for scrap. So, you know, I might as well do the max because it's actually pretty good value. And let's go put a point into doors now because I just decided that's a good idea. Uh, and we can just put power back in, distribute it as I had before. Uh, and I think we're good. So, so by the way, now if I go put someone on doors, they're level three doors. And there's actually a level four now for both for sensors, which can also be manned, and for doors. So, there is actually a point to upgrading it all the way, even though, like, you don't really gain a whole lot. But, I don't know what the 4th level looks like, so I guess we'll find out when, 
whenever. Uh, we can go up here and then back. Uh, this episode is long enough, so fuck it. Because I was talking the whole time about stupid shit. Okay, I don't like Zoltans because I can't beam through their shield. There's an augment for that now, by the way, to beam through shields. All right, and that's it. Uh, so that's all the time we have for today. I'm hoping you are enjoying FTL Advanced Edition, and I'll see you later. Bye.